What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play campaign as Mexico. So to kind of round off our last time, we secured Colombia and knocked Gran Colombia out of the game. Um, as a knock on to that, we have also, we're also at war with their Russian allies, which is great because they own the territory that I'm after next. So let's take Caracas and this will become a new centre of operations for Medi Mediterranean... Uh, well, center of operations for Mediterranean operations, then this army, I think, is actually then going to head... I think I'm going to ship them up to Texas and knock Texas out of the game. Um, open up another yield, another plantation of um, tobacco, another town, and a farm, and a dock, eventually. And I believe that's all they have. It opens up trade routes with France, maybe? No, trade's still capital to capital. Um, well, actually, I might just take Krakus and then just use this army to hop to Trinidad and Tobago, Hispaniola. Actually, no, turn to Cuba first. Cuba's the most valuable one, and there's a Mahusiv army. Anyway, before we get ahead of ourselves, things still going okay. Guatemala, need to keep an eye on, because they're going to get unhappy when I build a school. Tech's coming along okay. I have fire by rank. So I'm building up my farming tech to try and reduce... Um, the what well, to speed up the growth of Mexico by making my farmers more effective because food shortages are getting worse. It is tempting if I take Caracas. Oh no, they have not developed both their ports yet. Caracas is also another region that has two ports, so it would be tempting to turn Caracas into a well, I could, I could still turn this into a shipyard. Um, goods could well, I don't know if goods. Normally, goods can ship to the region next to them and be exported, but it doesn't necessarily feel right in this case because there isn't a road connecting them. Um, either way, this army can't really move um, because everyone will hate them if I leave. Yep, yeah, straight down to minus 11. So let's hop back inside. Cool. Tech's okay. Can't build anything, so I've already done that. Bogotá's going to be earning me some serious coin. I need to get my... I pretty much need to get my enlightenment up. Anyway, let's hit end turn. So this is the, the, the main problem I'm having, is that um, I'm having to build up... Ooh, Quebec getting the, getting the armies on the go. But send them southwest to knock out the Americans. See, Quebec has become an extremely valuable ally to me. They have been harassing the Spanish in the Caribbean. They've been sinking their fleets, they've been blockading their ports, they've been raiding and destroying their ports, which is excellent. Uh, so it was raised in a comment in an earlier video that in Darth Maul all ships are trade ships. And yeah, that's true, but I still like, I still prefer to use actual trading ships, like, um, well, like I would use galleons and flutes and an Indiaman. It just, it fits the theme of the era better than a stack of fourth rates. Fourth rates in terms of well, yeah, warships in general are the better option um, for trade, but I'm. It doesn't feel right to me. Um, obviously, yeah, in terms of the game, it's a better option. They're more survivable. Um, but it fe for me, it feels better to have uh, Indiamen, or at the very least, have a stack that's a mix of Indiamen and warships and kind of have those warships as sort of acting as guards for the convoy, if that makes sense. If you want to have a war fleet, make it a war fleet and deploy it in the theatre. Not trading, but have it defending your ports, defending your um, trade nodes. That's how I prefer to do it. And that's what I want to try to do um, as Mexico, is build up my navy. Um, trouble is, I've got lots of priorities at the minute. Oh, trade cream with Quebec has been cancelled, which is not ideal. So let's see... I can replace it with Genoa. We're good Catholic regions. I don't want to give you three grand. That's the problem. Quiz trade agreement. Can I give you a tech? Nope, because you're a major faction. You start off with more than me. Savoy. One half. 
That's more like it. And it is worth something. Excellent. Okay, recruit. Let's recruit. We've got a. Oh, I've not got much. Well, I have got cash. Let's keep three units of lion. So everyone that can has metal roads and is upgrading. Bogota might not have metal roads. I thought Panama wouldn't. I think didn't know if I. No, they're getting cobbled roads, so I can't buy anything there. And recruit one militia to occupy this trade port. Well, occupy both of them actually. I need two militia. And they're cheaper. Cheaper to sustain. I'm going to end up needing to send one of these agents to balance it out down here. So I'll get that running. Well, actually, which one's the school? It is this one, Grand Canada. Send one of my gentlemen down there to balance the research out a bit. It will impact the progress on this, but need to even it out. <clears throat> now you know what. I'm going to give a division of labour. It's seven turns. Plus 5 to town wealth, plus 12% to town wealth generated, and it gets me plantation upgrades. More money. It's always a good thing. So I've just been putting metal roads. Well, let's recruit a handful more Indiamen, and let's recruit. What's the difference? No difference, it's just double that for some reason. And let's put a pair of fourths to join my fleet. Excellent, end turn. So, oh, I forgot about those troops coming down. Don't need to recruit all those lines. Well, I'll send them on a long walk up to Mexico City to start to build my next force. I know it's efficient having them walk all the way through the city, through my territory, rather than ferrying them with ships. Um... But if it's not critical to have them moved around, then I'm not that bothered by it. So I need to catch a new Andalusia so I can upgrade my upgrade my ports. Get new ships, research new naval techs. And I have to, I have to experiment with buying technologies from other nations mainly Britain because right now Britain is my biggest ally eventually they will turn against me well actually maybe buying it from the Ottomans might make more sense because the Ottomans are out of the way first thing I'm going to do what I've been claiming to do for a long time settlement fortifications on Mexico it's a lot of money but it's worth doing Right, let's preemptively upgrade to the next level of body house. Let's get my. Do you, let's get you to the East Indies, actually. Let's see if I can safely interfere with trade on the East Indies or if it's too late. Colonial line, colonial line. Oh, good, I can cancel that unit. Put this colonial line in. Still hate me? Oh, still hate me massively. So you can't, still can't go anywhere. Yeah, let's just run the frontiers and back up. It'll take them a long time, but it doesn't matter. Can't really move because New Granada won't, won't uh, accept it. And I'm recruiting two more militia. To occupy Cartagena and occupy Rio de la Hacha. 
bring in a sixth. <gasps> Galleon. That's a trade ship, isn't it? It is a trade ship. You go to the East Indies as well. Then to balance this loss of firepower, sort of, let's go capture this Spanish fleet. Oh, valuable piece of intel right there. There is a Russian stack that's on the way. Right, let's fight this naval battle. In Bogota, if they're going to come towards me, if they're going to attack me, I'll be worth building walls, defeat them in a city fight, chase after their leftovers, chase after the leftovers, um, also defeat them, and then chase them all the way back to New Andalusia. Cool. Group, group, line of stern. The fire at will button or. I mean, while these aren't big ships, um, I still want them. <laughs> I know it's just a brig, but brigs... If I do want to create a fleet that all that sole purpose is to ferry troops up and down my coast rather than having them walking, it's with things like brigs I'll want to do it. And then gradually as I up tier, um, sick rates will become more important. They'll become well, like sixth rates. Sixth rates and fifth rates will become important in that role because you'll use ships like that to defend your brigs and sloops against other fleets of brigs and sloops and smaller ships. And then eventually they're going to cut across this way, follow the wind, get a broadside off. To be honest, their range is going to be too far out for chain shot, unless they sail even more into the wind. And to be honest, I don't even think I need chain shot. They're so wounded that broadsides will do it. Just regular round shot will do it. Yeah, they're well out of range for chain shot. Fire as she bears! You might be within range of chain shot, although you're going to get probably going to get another broadside off of round shot into um, San Telmo. There you go, round shot and dismastered her. Jesus. See, these are Spanish Navy ensigns. So that's got red, red paint on it. This one's got yellow paint. Unless this is one, unless this is one of my captured brigs. It's a brig I have lost, which could well be. Thank you, leaving the tiny little brigs to fight their own fight. No, don't go upwind. That's silly. They're going to 
follow the wind around in this direction, so I need to follow the wind around in this direction. Yeah, that six taking an absolute pounding. My Admiral's fifth, Diligente. See, they are turning into the wind. So it's kind of forcing me to follow them. It speeds up a bit because they're going to leave my ships field of fire soon. Or might they? Might they not? To be honest, by the looks of it, they're actually going to... Even if they do follow the wind, they're still going to be within... Right, within um, line of sight of my ships. See, if I do that, I might be able to get a bit more of the wind. Not a huge amount, but I would board them. Yeah, it's a better option doing it like this for now. It's my fourth broadside's in. You're about to receive return fire, my friend. There you go. God, these little ships are so small and hard to hit. Speed up time. Just because it isn't a major naval battle. Anything I am going to do that. Separate you from the group. Mark, prepare to board the Achilles. You separate you from the group. Board the Santelmo. There you go. Prepare. F remove the group. Control them independently. Which is always a bit of a risk. a little bit. This is wavering, but maybe this fifth ray might be able to make a surrender. Let's set the... There you go, let's set the... Switch to chains. I hope they have not fired their full broadside. No, they haven't. So they're going to fire it into Achilles. Chain. Pivot to the right. Fire your tiny little brig broadside into the front of this sixth rate. Master's coming down. Admiral destroyed. Surrendered. Surrendered. Perfect. Close victory? How is that close? Dual threats or even second rates and things like that, but... Um... You take what you're given. So you, Grigori Sarov, Colonial Line, Grenadiers, one unit of artillery. So that will be my important... Uh, differentiator but I think I may do that it will take them more than four turns to reach me so I think sorry Mexico you're gonna lose your walls and instead Bogota is going to get them
if they come for the, the city, that's okay. I'll, this'll work. If it doesn't, I'll just sally out and prepare to meet them. I'm not going to upgrade my infrastructure. Actually, I'm, I'll still do it, because they can't use it against me. So you got Medane. See, this could almost be worth turning into another school. When once Medellin, Medellin grows. 53 turns, though. The main point being, because I've got lots of gold mines... I've got lots of mines anyway. I can still get a church school to generate my priests. I can still get a, a school and a happiness building in. So Bogota would still earn lots of money from mining because industry is very, le very significantly less than that. Right. Research. Cool. End turn. Whew. But yeah, small ships might not seem useful, but if you're just looking to transport, how just to transport armies? Because Darth Maul's a bit broken that you don't need a full stack to transport an army. So things to take advantage of. That's one thing I definitely take advantage of. Um, but yeah, sometimes it just feels right to use small ships for certain jobs. That and in the end game, if you're feeling particularly bloodthirsty, you can just throw them against a high level fleet of ships. Expect all yours to die, but still be able to pull off some uh, damage against enemy fleets. It's another way to go about it. There you go, there comes the Russian army. Oh, Sweden. <gasps> My god. Everyone. This is the first time ever that I've seen the AI land on British shores. They won't win. It's half a stack versus a pretty big London garrison. But it's the first time I've seen it done. God, if they do try and attack London with one unit of horse artillery and these units that are depleted, no less. Still, interesting times, nevertheless. Everything is all still pretty much where it was. So the Swedes have taken Denmark. Come on, Britain. Knock Spain out of the game. Do it. Because that'd be it. If they lose that, that's it. And I'm just against pirates. Oh yeah, rebels have shown up in Russia. Anyway. Pretty sure if I sent... Oh no, they might not take... Might not take three turns. Oops, sorry. Hit my microphone. Of course, Quatemar's got the school. Great college. Get my... Gentlemen, to hightail it. So my school focus on probably another one of these texts because it's the lowest. Minus is my happiness, which isn't great, particularly in towns like Mexico, which are already by a thread anyway. But I've not got much choice. As food shortages just continue to pick away at my population. Good. Okay, on Santiago. Meet up with the fleet. You, Indiamen. Go to the East Indies. Oh yeah, government by consent. Division of Labour gets me next level ports as well, which is critical. Let's keep my frontiersmen around. Keep my militia with them nearby, just in case. Right, end turn. So I've not spent all my money, but I've not got anything to spend it on. <laughs> Oh no, 
Geno has captured Gibraltar. But I want to see what they do to the sweep. So maybe in some weird way Britain just spawns all militia for its garrison. Maybe. Well, it looks a bit small. Whoa. Yeah, they're going to be here way mu much, much faster than I planned. So, let's fall back to my original plan. Let's cancel production of that, of walls there. Build them back up in Mexico. Fleet arrives. Am I too late? to snag a spice trade route. No, I am not. Excellent. Open up more goods for trade. Let's mow the fleet. Good, they're both there. Unit recruited. So which one's making more money? Ivory or spices? Spices by a country mile. fleet of fourths and recruit one of them to an admiral and then ship them off to a trade theatre to protect my trade fleets. George has been destroyed. I wonder who by Turkey? No, it was it was Russia. <laughs> I thought Turkey pushed up. Good old Russia needs to secure Crimea still. And secure this damn rebel port. Apart from that, everything seems okay. Swedes haven't moved. They're replenishing. Well, the flag's still tattered. British army down here by the coast. Oh, this is the Gibraltar army. Oh, they must have traded it. That's why... Because when you trade, your army teleports to your nearest piece of land. But is that nearer than... Might just be nearer than Calgary. Than Sardinia. So the question is, what did you now trade to get that? Nothing obvious. Britain already own these. Curious. Very curious. Anyway, it's time to move this army out to engage the Russians. However, this will be about. Oh god, they've got. Oh, hand mortar company. Focus fire on them. Holy moly. God, they've got two of them. <laughs> As we saw from our Russia campaign, they're brilliant fun. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.